Hey everybody, welcome to another Whip Wednesday. Hey guys. We're in a bit more of a relaxed position today <laughs> because um, I just wanted to be a little closer to where we can actually control the stream in the, so that I don't have to keep leaning over every few seconds. Yeah, we're, out we're of still playing so, around with the setup. And yeah, because we're, we're still not in, in our, our studio. Our so. Setup, so. Yeah, so hopefully in the next coming weeks we'll have our studio actually set up, but um, we'll see how long that takes. But, um, and also, it is a bit of a late Whip Wednesday stream. Hopefully yeah, sorry, it won't a be. Late, guys. Yeah, and it it's mostly just because Joey works kind of late, and right. we have to get food in us and, you know, all that stuff. Fuel. <laughs> so, um, one, uh, one quick thing just to bring up before we begin. Um, this month is National Knitting and Crocheting Month, so for this month we'll be doing Whip Wednesday streams every single week. Yeah. So we'll be back here next week on Wednesday, and we're just going to say at 9, because just from yeah, how just everything's looking safe. lately, yeah, we're just like going to be doing best. our streams yeah, so at 9 So kind of late now. streams at 9 for, for now. now. But um, also during this month we'll be publishing our streams right after they go live, so you'll be able to catch the stream if you missed it, instead of everything being just for patrons only, just for this month only. And um, also for National Knitting and Crocheting Month, there should be... Um, a few more videos than usual on the channel. Yeah. Uh, I've been working really hard to try to get more content for this month. It's the month so, of more videos. Yeah, so. it's the month of a few more videos than <laughs> usual. So um, hopefully uh, you guys are noticing that and enjoying that. Uh, there's only <laughs> there's only been one video so far, but there will be a, a new one at the end of this week. Yeah, and so, speaking of with the beginner's crochet lessons. Oh, yeah, lessons, yeah, so. I've been doing um, beginner's crochet lesson tutorials. So um, if you guys watched any of those, tell me what you guys think of the new series. Yeah. And that's going to be continuing to come out as the month progresses and then on past the month. Not everything that's coming out this month is going to be part of that tutorial because I know a lot of you guys aren't actually beginners. So um, yeah. there will be some mm -hmm. content for you guys as well. So just look for that in this coming month. And with that, let's get on with the next whips, yeah. right? Or with the new the new whips of yeah, this week. The whips for today. The the whips of the week. Okay. So let's switch to this camera for now. Let's grab these guys. So uh, I'm not sure if it doesn't it doesn't always work, but the thumbnail of the video was these um, little doll high heels that I have here. So um, some of these are not finished yet. There's actually only one that I have finished. So I have these two that are um, going to be a matching pair. And I have these two that are going to be a matching pair. As you can see, the heels on these are drastically different sizes than each other. So um, mm -hmm. let me show you. Uh, and um, it's kind of a, a several stages of it that you can see here where this one, the heel of the footbed, the, the footbed and the heel is all bent into the right shape where this one is mostly just like flat with the heel sticking out the bottom. So this one's the first step finished and then this one is the second step finished. Right. And then this one is actually completed. I have the, the other one for this pair in progress right now, but it's got like thread and needles coming off of it. So I'm not going to show you that, <laughs> but, um, Two work in progress. So uh, last week I showed you guys some larger size doll high heels for my um, that went with my crochet doll tutorial that I made uh, a while back. Oh, you know what? I just realized that this is covering this. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> okay, so just want to make sure that we can see the chat. Um, so you guys might have, might have noticed that this is a lot smaller than the shoe that I showed you guys last week because this one is actually sized to fit a Barbie doll. Um, I don't think I, ha I have a, Where is the, oh, there she I have is. a Barbie here. I have a Barbie here, but she's not actually like the shoes still fit on her. But as you can see, she has flat feet instead of the usual high heel Barbie feet. So this shoe does fit her. I made it with the same, um, with the same size as the, um, as the shoe that she's wearing. So it does fit her. I kind of have to finesse it onto her heel <laughs> here, but, um, Usually I use like my hook or a needle or something, but um <laughs> Right. 
There we go. Oh, there you go. All right. Popped it onto her foot. But yeah, it does fit her, but she can't really stand with it on because her foot is flat. Yeah. So it's not so really made to fit. So she probably has just fit. a forward lean Yeah, the it's whole not time. really made to fit that type of foot. But it does fit that doll. Maybe eventually when I actually get a Barbie that has high heel shaped feet, I can I, <laughs> I can actually make her a pair of shoes. But um, the reason why I made that doll, let me show you. Um, the uh, the reason why I made those doll shoes was to fit this doll, which as you can see does have the same size foot, and it's in um this one is in the high heel pose and this one is in the flats pose because since the doll has armature in its feet the feet are poseable and so she can actually wear both types of barbie shoe which is pretty cool this one i do also have to kind of finesse it onto the <laughs> doll <laughs> but like that is what it's going to look like in the future yeah no that and looks I'm, really good yeah i'm pretty excited about this technique i'm pretty excited to show you guys how i make these shoes that tutorial should be coming out during the month of more videos than usual <laughs> Because I'm working on it right now. Hopefully it'll be done before the end of this month. Right. And, um, and then I'll have some more little doll shoes to show you guys. These ones I'm thinking of making more of like a strappy heel type of, type of shoe instead of like a pumps like I did with this one. I know, right? I'm not sure about this one. I think I am going to just do another pumps. These are the ones that I'm actually making in the video. So this is this is how far I've gotten with making the video. A whole assortment of little shoes. Yeah, and I'm um and I'm also like considering using the same technique to make some accessories for my dolls because I feel like that would be um that would translate really well to um, right. to making small accessories besides just shoes. Yeah, it just has some good structure. Yeah, and that you cover. Um, yeah, I'm thinking like for my um like my Crystal Gems dolls that I've been making. Some of you guys might have seen them on like past episodes of Book Wednesday or like just some of my my Steven Universe doll like yeah. tutorial videos that I have. But I was thinking of just making them their like their gem weapons and like stuff like that yeah. using that same technique so that I can have like a full like I just just a full doll with all the accessories. Yeah. So it's just nice to have the though. complete aesthetic look. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All of their yeah, weapons. Yeah, that's and something that I'm hoping that I can get done also in. Well, not done, but I want to make a little more progress on all my Crystal Gems dolls. I don't think I could finish this month, what with everything else that I've been doing. So, um, since I just showed you that doll's feet, let me show you the rest of the doll. Um, yeah, I've actually. I, I love how this one looks. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of it. So I showed you guys this one last week, but I did a lot of work on sculpting the doll. As you can see, the shape of the body and the head and the face is a lot more like realistic now. You can um, you can check out the vid the episode from last week, and you can see how far it's come since then. But um, let me also show you guys a more general, a more generic doll that I. Well, it's not. It's a. It's a an unfinished body doll. She's still wearing the fishnets from last week. But this is kind of sort of what it looked like before I did all of the stitching. Right. Because it's like a lot more just the general shape of the doll. You can't see it as well through the fishnets, obviously. <laughs> but um, but I did a bunch of shaping of the doll using thread, uh, or using yarn and a needle. So now it has a lot more of a realistic body shape than it had yeah, before. Yeah, it makes such a big difference. Yeah, and I love her tiny little feet. Yeah, the feet look awesome, and the legs. Yeah, they came out pretty good. And I haven't really done very much work on the face. All I've done is, like, her nose and, like, a little bit of the eye whites, but I do want to make the eyes a little bit bigger than that. Right. Okay. So let's, let me see. There's going to be quite a lot less things this week, <laughs> by the way, guys. Um, well, yeah, because we're yeah, doing... Yeah, since we're doing things every week, yeah, yeah since... It's, there's just not going to be There's not going to be as much to show you guys, because I'm only going to be able to have time to work on so many things during the week. 
So, um, last time I showed you guys my bunny girl doll that I've been working on. I'm not going to show you guys her again because I haven't really done much on yeah, her right. since she's last just, time. If you want to see she's where just I'm just at. Hanging out in the background. Yeah, but... if you want to see where I'm at on that doll, you can check out the last week's episode or you can look at my Instagram. I think I have a couple of photos right, of her yeah. there. Um, but this one I haven't posted to Instagram yet because she's like way too early in the whip process. But I've been using the same technique to make a Siamese cat doll. You yeah. can't really tell that she's a Siamese cat yet, aside from her having this uh, chocolate point foot and the chocolate point on her face. So she is going to be a chocolate point Siamese. And here is her mm, tail armature. Tail. Let me show you guys on the other camera, because it's actually way too bright out here <laughs> to show you that, because she's just such a pale color that the reflection off of her body with the light is way too intense. She's still got her robot arms and her <laughs> robot tail. I haven't done the covering for that. They're still just armature as with her other foot. But yeah, I'm just using, I just used some basic striped like color changes on the leg to give it like a sl slight gradient from the pale color to the brown color. Right. But, um, but I'm thinking of maybe coming in with some in-between colors and adding some stitches to like kind of blend it more yeah. oh, without cool. having to like do it all with color changes because then right. it would have happened like way too slowly if I had used color changes totally. where I want the gradient to happen super fast. So um, I am going to do that with more sewing later. It probably then, flows a little better too instead yeah. of it being with the, the stitch like instead of it changing color in the in the next row or whatever with it being embroidered on top it probably flows better than it being a color change well i guess i don't know i i i guess i just did not really entirely understand what you meant by that <laughs> <laughs> to be honest it's a little late <laughs> forget what i said i'm sorry no. I, I when i maybe when i watch this later <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm not doing highlights anymore for this week. Oh, yeah, by the way, side note, we're not doing highlights for this month either. So all of this is staying in. Hooray. Yay. <laughs> oh, yeah, and um, to make the gradient, like, really smooth, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the bunny girl, and I'm going to brush out the yarn to give her more of a furry, a furry look. If you have seen my short doll hair tutorial, that's the exact same technique that I use for this. And also the the cat tail and cat ears video that I made. It's also the same technique that I'm using. I use both techniques for this. They're two different techniques, but I, but I did use both of those techniques for making the bunny girl. And I feel like that is probably what I'm going to do to make this girl as well. So um, another thing that I was going to say in regards to this um character if you guys have any suggestions for her hairstyle and hair color um or like clothes that she can be wearing the only thing i know for sure is that i want her to be wearing a rose pink hoodie because i have one for her that is like made already but apart from that i don't really know what i want to do with this doll's aesthetic right so you need to come up with some bottoms basically yeah i think i drew like just like 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 just t leggings on her or something <laughs> but they weren't any particular thing because i right. didn't really know what i was gonna do totally sorry i'm drinking so much coconut <laughs> water you guys i'm super thirsty but yeah if you guys can think of some good uh pants or leggings for this cat yeah. leave a leave a comment yeah, and then also the um, bunny girl that I made last week, I'm making her like a set of lingerie, but I also want to make her just a set of regular clothes just for the character. Right. So if you have any suggestions for that, you can leave that there as well. Right. Okay, and um, we have one last thing to show you guys for this week. This is probably one of the oldest dolls. Yeah, that this you've is probably. Had to show. This is probably one of the oldest dolls that I have, period. <laughs> like, Right. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of work that's been done on this. Yeah, if you guys have checked out previous episodes of Whip Wednesdays, you may have seen some of my fairy dolls that I've shown in the past. This is one that I have shown in the past, <laughs> but I did like a ton of work on her just like as an experiment, and I do kind of like how it's going. Yeah, it's I mean, not it finished good. yet. 
but um but I think it looks pretty good. I don't know how it will look on the camera, but I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> but um let me show you the rest of it first. So um I have the wings here. They're um green banded swallowtail wings. And um, if you want to see how I make my fairy wings, there's also a video for that on the channel. Yeah, super cool yeah. technique. I didn't. I, even, I, I, love how the, the wings I didn't look. make this particular one in that video, but um, I do have one for a monarch butterfly and the one that looks like the Tinkerbell wings that I've made on the channel. But it's the same basic technique, except with this one, I used like a darker black mm. like crochet thread to like black out parts of the wings. So, um, there's that, and then obviously, like, her super cute, like... Yeah, the red curly hair. Red curly hair. It was in a braid, but I thought I liked it better, just, like, exploding out of yeah. the, like... I, I just love how, like, um... I don't know, I think I like how it looks just, like, in a big, like, mass of curls instead of it being in a braid. I just like that look better, so I changed it into just a bunch of messy curls, I guess. And then I have the um, headdress that I made for her a while back. It's white roses. Yeah. You can't really see them on this camera. It's a little so... how bright it is right now. But... Okay, so let me show you yeah, guys the work that I closer. have done on her face. Before, it was very much like this generic doll. It, the face used to look like this, but with green eyes instead of blue. So here is the work that I've done on this face. It's a lot complete transformation yeah it's a completely different look i tried to make it look more realistic um i'm not completely satisfied with it yet i think her eyes need to be a little bit bigger in a couple of spots not completely um it's more just like the iris i need to shape better and like yeah. fill in a little bit of space and then i also want to line her eyes and then i have to give her some lips if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen I posted a couple of progress pictures of her earlier today. Um, but I ended up covering, I put some some lip on her, but I ended up covering it up with some more layers so you can see it <laughs> under here. She's got some pink down there. So I think I'm actually going to fill in that space with, with a little bit of black and leave it as like a tongue. And then I'll put some more pink on the outside. I just thought that she needed some more like layering for her lips. You can kind of see like the profile of her a little bit. Right. Like it does look more like lips now, where before it was a lot more like flat instead, and it just looked looked like pink there, but it yeah. was still flat. Where now there's actually so more now there's of more a dimension. silhouette of like a natural looking face. Yeah, and also there isn't any like black lines or anything yet. I think that that works best to do that kind of last. Yeah, right. So I'm just kind of layering on a bunch of color right now. And um, I think I want to add a little bit more depth to the eyes. So I might add some other shades of green, maybe, mm -hmm. depending on like whether. I actually like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I messed up my finger doing this. Mm -hmm. Like it, like the needle just went straight through. Yeah, I is... should have been using a thimble, but I have no idea where it is. <laughs> so, um, this doll has a very dense head. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> hopefully it was worth it. Hopefully you guys <laughs> like the the way the doll looks now <laughs> because like because it cost me my finger, and I'm oh, gonna yeah. have to protect it when I do any other work. But I think she's coming out pretty good. I think she'll look a lot nicer once I put some like black lines on there mm -hmm. to like accent um, where all of the lines yeah, of, like her eyes pop, are and everything. Definitely. And then I do need to add some more color, like her lips needs color, and then like yeah, she looks a bit flushed. Yeah, she's um she's in need of a little bit more than that. Oh yeah, and also just like you can kind of see it's just densely packed with stitching here i kind of mostly just sculpt her and i sculpted her a new face kind of using thread <laughs> so um it doesn't have the same texture as the crochet right. does kind of i tried to kind of blend it by making the stitches like um like short like vertical stitches just to kind of blend in with the crochet texture but um but I did have to like kind of sculpt her a new face because, as I said, this was a really yeah. old doll. And when I first made this doll, I think it was one of the first dolls that I made. I don't think it was the first doll that I made, but it was one of the first dolls that I made. And um, she just, I just didn't really have my tension really down at that point, right. I guess. So she kind of had a bit of a holy face. <laughs> 
So once I started adding a lot of like stitching to like add the whites of her eyes and stuff, the face holes kind of started to like, like stretch, stretch and out see and them more, warp yeah. and yeah and you could see like some of the fluff kind of popping through so i did kind of have to sculpt her a new face with thread but i think it's coming out coming out pretty good like yeah considering that it's no, I like think that, i think that looks just really, really nice. the before and after that's of, pretty like, ridiculous what it looked like before it's what it looked like after if you guys really want to look at um at what this doll looked at before looked like before, you can probably find it in an older episode yeah. of Work Wednesday. So yeah, that's the last doll that we have to show you guys. Yeah. Um so, thanks for watching, you, you guys. guys. Like um, this slightly shorter format. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be coming out with more of them. Hopefully we won't be too too late these next times. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, sorry but, about getting uh, up getting onto the stream so late, you guys. Yeah. But you are going to be uploading them soon after, so yeah. So this is going them, to get published you, immediately, hopefully. Yeah. So um, if you miss the stream, so you, you should live, be able to watch hello it again right from after the day after. <laughs> yes, but uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and hopefully you will be here at the same time next week on Wednesday, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.